Thanks for uh, Max Media to give me the opportunity to come in this stage and talk to you. Little tough spot after two architects and long uh, delayed session. People may be looking for a shorter and uh, easier uh, discussion. I am here to uh, talk about the view of structural steel from the real estate industry, how a user think about it. I am not here to talk as a what a uh, expert talk about or uh, the thinking of a, it's a thinking of a common real estate professional across the street what he thinks about the line. Perspective. World Bank says Indian economy is 2.067 trillion dollar. Indian government says more than that. Which means construction industry at 8% is 260 billion dollar. And structural steel industry is I was told roughly $160 million. I'm just giving the perspective, less than 0.1%. My discussion here is some feedback to some of the people sitting in the structural steel industry and understand there is a great opportunity. You're at 0.1% and there is an industry at the UK and US going more than 40 or 50% in structural steel. There are reasons, they are the opportunity, they are threats. I have a couple of projects which I have done in the structural steel. Some of the experiences are here. I will share with you and tell you what we had gone through and where are we. Before I speak about the projects and the other opportunities, there are some of the points related with the steel. Look, I have been exposed to structural steel. I was lucky to expose to structural steel in a various form industrial buildings, the bridges, the now real estate building. I learned a lot from them. I like to thank the people who had taken me this journey for structural steel. These are some of the points which I had been told about the structural steel people from my uh, colleagues, friends, why we are using structural steel. My panel, a lot of other people have spoken about it some of the more value addition. I like to talk about the, some of the challenge which the structural steel industry is facing. This is a feedback. This is a feedback to structural steel industry, especially in a real estate. We are doing more than 50,000 houses. Not a single one is in structural steel. I was told there is not enough technology available in India. I'm not saying the world. In India, it's not enough technology available to get me the proper residential building in structural steel. One of the major challenge which I am finding is the penetration of structural steel in our industry. Look, if I go to market and purchase a car, I have a variety available from Alto to Mercedes-Benz. But if I go to structural steel industry, I have either Mercedes-Benz or I have Alto. I don't have anything in between. Please understand, I have a luckily top two or three good vendor who can do the good you know, quality structural steel. But there is a big gap. I, if I want to go for a mid-range player, the mid-range player either they ask me the higher value and they give me the service of the lower class or their pricing of the higher end portion. There is a big difference of a people available in India in terms of the vendors and the contractor. Second thing is uh, availability of structural steel. If you are a developer or if you are purchasing structural steel, you will come to know the purchasing structural steel heavy section is more difficult than purchasing the gold. You can purchase the gold by paying the money, but if you want to purchase structural steel, you have to pay advance, wait for one month, and then you will get the section. You won't get the section immediately. You don't get off the shelf section of any you know good uh, structural steel people. The third point is the skilled labor. Today, in my projects, two prominent structural steel projects, most of the worker has come from the Dubai. They are Indian worker who had work in Dubai or work internationally and come back. So this is a story of a structural steel skilled labor to us. The third is if I miscalculate the 10 bolt, then I have to wait for a few weeks to get the bolt. Nothing is available off the shelf. Industry has to think in the line how to bridge this gap. If a structural steel building has to come in the real estate or other sector, this market has to be you know, created, developed on the line. 
my fellow colleague has told about the cost. Yes, the structural steel is costly. If I make a building in structural steel, it's roughly 500 to 600 rupees costly. It is less or more. It's a fact. The structural steel industry has to think and think of like other industry who has bridged the gap. Telecom in 90s, when the mobile sets has come, the cost of a one call was 24 rupees per minute. Today we are talking in less than one rupee. Look, the industry has to evolve. You have a choice either to look in the, your history and say structural steel was a great, or you evolve and come back and do something for the industry. Today, a developer in city other than the Bangalore think 10 times before going to structural steel. The 10% increase in cost is not justifiable. I'm not telling because of structural steel. You have advantage today, steel prices has come down, but still fireproofing cost has gone up. Bombay is a different case scenario. Here the land cost is more, project cost is less, so people can afford that structural steel cost. But city like Bangalore, Chennai, it's a very tough. If you're talking of a building of a 3,000 square rupees square feet, to 400, 500 rupees square feet, additional cost is not justifiable. There is another thing which we are seeing at a other end of a spectrum when I talk for any new building, everybody talk about the doing RCC. Primary reason is familiarity. I am doing the building which is the largest commercial development for people like Cisco. They are doing all international building with the steel, but they don't want to do in India because Indian worker and the team is more familiarized with the concrete and they do more concrete on the line. So the people are more familiar with the concrete, the way, process and everything. So this is another decent way. This is a challenge. I am giving a challenge to the structural steel industry. I will tell you my challenge is why. When I was Coming out, one of the guy asked me, Ki, why can't you people, the real estate people, produce a house like a car? Henry Ford make the houses, uh, the, made the car. Assembly line, done over it. Why you are giving me after three years? Why don't you give me after a week? Why don't you give me a building or house after a two months? Look, concrete has a challenge. Concrete has a benefit. But concrete has a one thing. It takes some time to cast a set on the line. It still doesn't have it. Steel is a ready-made product. You have opportunity to make the building in a much faster and better time, which has not happened, which is not happening at this moment. But there is a possibility. That possibility, people have to work around. They have to come out of their old mode of structural thinking, the concept, and then they think that how the building can be done faster and better. Look, there is opportunity, there is a threat. I was going through the presentation of my fellow colleague, Earlier, the concrete uh, railway bridges were done in the steel. Today, it's replaced by the concrete. Earlier, a skyscraper like Empire State Building was done in stillness steel because if they would have done concrete, entire floor would have covered by the only concrete. That time, technology was not that efficient. But today, if you talk about last two skyscrapers, they are done in the concrete. Petronas Tower or Burj Khalifa, major building is done in the concrete, not in a steel. Top dome might have done in the concrete, steel not the balance part portion of it. Industry has to think on the line of it. When I'm talking as a real estate, when, when we take up a building, what are the primary reasons for me to go for a steel? I tell you, we have done the two or three building in steel and our one of the building, our primary reason was to go faster construction. We wanted to do building faster and as an experiment, one of the building we have done, I just taken that building as a, case study, I will tell you what are the difficulty we had gone through. That was one of the prime reason for that. We had to spend extra cost for that. Second part was the, there was a more accurate and detail, detail engineering. I get the proper factory finish building for my international client for the better office space that suits on the line. Flexibility of span, cost. Another thing which we had learn is the if you do a steel building there is a more cost predictability than the concrete concrete i got a lot of variation on the price it also helps me with a limited side storage but that's the other flip side of it in center of city you can't bring the 12 meter long span column which is the primary uh, benefit of steel uh, work in the you know factory finish work on the line the another point is with the steel and with a lot of international people, I am getting benefit of a lot of safety and energy in the environment of the line. 
there are some of the advantage i was just coming i said let me tell bombay why bombay could have been the you know much better area because bombay we get better rental i am coming from bangalore i am at bangalore so we we are a dollar uh, square foot company bangalore you get the 1 dollar per square foot that's a standard bombay you got five times of it so making faster building is more beneficial in the uh, bombay couple of uh, uh case study from my side we are doing one uh, building like kingfisher tower which is the tallest tower in bangalore uh, bangalore we are permitted height maximum 130 meter and uh, we have uh, having the benefit of uh, uh, sterling uh, help on the design and uh, we are working this is what we are doing is at 100 meter height we are doing 23 meter cantilever 101 meter height we are doing to, um, the 23 meter cantilever and we have a huge transfer girder while designing we thought about a lot of option what to do we had thought about pre stress and all and end of the day we choose the steel primary a for a uh, strength and the second the more predictability as girish can tell you more about it he was the is a designer of it but the point is what we were thinking as a owners perspective on the line this is a live case at this moment we are going to erect the the top girder and truss evershundey is a partner on that luckily today i have a somebody like evershundey or jssl who can do that quality job five year or 10 year back when we were doing uv city we didn't have a people to do it we have to depend upon the local uh, uh, vendor and we were afraid of uh, quality in all on the line there some of the classic case of the building which i am showing it you can have a look at it this is a case study this building we have done the structural steel not for a speed and all but we have done the structural steel because of the strength and related requirement of the line this is the case this is the case at uh, site this is again one of the costliest building outside the bombay residential towers this is the transfer girder some of the transfer girder were as deep as 4 and 1/2 meter one of the classical case for us learning for us on the line of it this is the case this is the erection which we are doing now my friend ever shundai people have taken up and they are proceeding on the line this would be the case At 100 meter height, we are going to do the 23. Uh, this cuts see the uh, sterling and the evershundai. I'll take you the case study of another uh, one of the our example. We are in between. We're not very happy. We're not very unhappy. But we are making a building. We decided to do one building in structural steel and thought that you know we'll take it as an experiment. We are doing a some few million square feet in the commercial space and we say let's do half a million square feet as a uh, steel composite building and this is the our experiment this building is again the uh, prominent people uh, designer from mr mahemtara and jssl uh, as a steel vendor so we we took a this is the present state of uh, building on the line we spent extra money on that the cost of construction is roughly 400 or 500 rupees extra from the conventional rcc but if you ask me today are you happy with this my reason is if i had done in rcc i might have finished it because again the familiarity with that i had to get two people marry civil and structural people to marry and make the building on the line however we are getting lot of advantage mileage everybody in city coming and asking what you are doing it and another learning experience for us for doing lot more building in the future with the structural steel we learn what to do and what to not uh, do in the structural steel with this uh, line it's a composite structure on the line 115 meter high building on the line again the challenges we didn't figure it out the challenges like uh, logistic challenge the you know how to get the steel 12 meter trailer getting it will sound silly but you know everybody from top to bottom is worried because the day you can't bring off because of traffic now you cannot take it because never won't allow you to unload it the sound so these are the things which we didn't thought we will mature with the time and you know improve on the line second thing we didn't realize that core construction is more important than the steel construction because till you make the base you can't do on the line this building will be completed in the coming years in the line the this is in the center bangalore uh, one of the most highly visible building on the line we are at top of uh, it on the line final floors 
the again here if you see we have done the little detail engineering and we have left the lot of openings in the structural steel to take the services in. So I'm getting the much better height, architect's perspective. More than four and a half meter height, I can get it in the uh, my internal floors. Better for our clients. Thank you very much.